Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we return to Saipan for game eight of the campaign, the O1 line. So this is it, the final objective for the Marines, the O1 line. Day three saw the Marines reach the O1 line objective 700 yards inland from the beachhead, only to met, be met by fierce resistance on a hill. This will actually be the ninth game we played. The last one we played was technically game eight. Oh, we're not technically. It was sequentially game eight, but it was the counterattack, and that did not actually take a turn uh, out of the um, campaign. It would have if the Japanese would have won, because it would have forced the Marines to retake ground they had already won. But since the Marines won, they're just going to push right in, right on the counterattack with a fresh platoon. Uh, it was the night attack with the tanks. Did not go well for the uh, Japanese. Uh, Tanaka himself, he's out of the campaign, but he did fight the entire campaign up to this point, and he wound up losing 20 guys, 24 if he were to fight again. But we're going to be seeing a fresh Japanese platoon in this game. So the Japanese CO, he's going to be at minus two opinion. Uh, fresh platoon, so the men's opinion is going to be at zero. Meanwhile, the Marines, the three platoons they have, first platoon is in the best shape. That's Yukaki and Padilla. They're only down one man. Second platoon under Anderson and Thompson is going to be down, let's see here, uh, eight guys. And third platoon under Vesterman and Starkweather is also going to be down eight guys. Third platoon fought the last battle. So if they actually fought this one again, they would be down 11 guys. So first, uh, first platoon looks like the best bet for Andre. We'll see what he does though. And the uh, Jap, or I'm sorry, the Marine CO's opinion is at plus five. He's ve he's been very happy with the progress that his company's been making. So he's going to be given the Marines plus one extra support point. The mission that we will be using for this campaign turn will be scenario three from the rule book: attack and defend. The Marines will be starting over there. The Japanese will be starting over here on Hill 790. So and the objective of this mission is to drive the enemy off of the board while keeping your own force morale at three or higher. The Japanese are going to get four patrol markers 18 inches up from their edge, while the Marines are going to get four patrol markers right on their edge, but they will get D6 free moves. The Marines will be getting 14 support points plus one for their CO's opinion, and the Japanese will be getting eight support points plus a bunker. The terrain in this uh, campaign turn is quite unique. So we'll just start off with the obvious here, these lines. These are here to represent contour lines on a map. So you have to imagine that this map is going uphill quite steeply. As, as you get closer to the top, the steeper they, it gets. So in real life, this was a very steep hill littered with rocks, trees, shrubs, and it was very hard to uh, move, up, um, move up the hill. The Marines had a difficult time moving up the hill, I should say. So uh, in game terms, the first two contours are going to be rough going, so no running, and minus one pip uh, per movement for infantry. Tanks are not allowed at all past this line, which is going to be very different for us. We've never had a game where that's been the case. And the last two contours are going to be minus uh, two pips per dice, no running for infantry. Other than that, we have quite a bit of jungle. So this is true jungle, it's going to be 4 inch visibility, soft cover, a couple scattered trees, a couple bigger scattered rocks. Um, we've got some buildings, these are all hard cover, these are soft cover, and these are sugar cane fields. So what I have to do is I'm going to have to roll on the uh, table to see what the condition of these sugar cane fields is. The Marines were dropping napalm on these to try to deny the Japanese use of them for snipers or observers or whatever. So I'll just do that right now. I'm just going to roll for each one and we're going to so see the what sugar cane field that is not uh, burned down by napalm is going to be very, it's going to be pretty much the same thing as a, um, a jungle. It's going to have be a four inch visibility, soft cover, uh, and a sugar cane field that has been burned down by napalm is just going to be soft cover if you're in it, slow going. So it's not going to block line of sight, but it's going to give you some cover. So on a four plus, the sugar cane field has been burned by napalm. So we'll start here. Yes. Moving on to this one. Yep. So the napalms strike this way. This one has not been hit. This one here has been hit. So these three sugarcane fields have been burned down by napalm. 
This one has. So not. to indicate that in game, I'm going to put a couple of uh, extra pieces on top just to make it look taller. I hope I remember that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so now what we'll do is starting with the attacking force. Marine Force. Uh, I don't know what platoon Andre is going to bring. I'm assuming first platoon since they're only down one man, but who knows? But the standard platoon's got your two uh, two leaders, both with carbines and three squads at the Type F. Each squad has three four-man fire teams with the BAR, three rifles, and one leader, uh, junior leader with a rifle. And the junior leaders for the Marines and the Type F have the three uh, commands to, to kind of uh, simulate them having more tactical flexibility with three fire teams. Here we have the Japanese second platoon. So Tanaka is getting a well-deserved few hours of rest. So second platoon, it's identical to first platoon, but full of strength. Leading it is uh, Lieutenant Soku Takaru, and assisting him is his platoon sergeant, uh, Kinjo Koji. So these guys are going to be the one trying to def defend Hill 790. So this is the Japanese later war infantry platoon, has three 13-man squads, and it's all one big squad, no teams, and embedded in it is a three-man LMG team. We also have a 13-man knee mortar team. Each knee mortar is a four-man crew, and each one is commanded by a sergeant with rifle. And that's it. That's the platoons. That's the forces. We'll go ahead and get started. Andres here. He's been briefed. We're going to roll force morale. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, so I got a four. You got a, an eight. Mine was already on the 11, so. So uh, Marines are rocking and rolling, ready to... We are pumped! Taking this hill. phase now, I'm just going to roll for his free moves. Four, Four moves. Hey, that sounds like two and two, doesn't it? Yep, and you get to make the first move is, uh, in the patrol phase, actually. Perf. So Andre did pick first platoon, which is Yen Skaki and Greg Padilla, platoon sergeant. And we begin the patrol phase proper, so... Charge! Make sure I'm not that uh, now. Uh, hold on here. Actually, oh shoot, man. yeah, because then I would for sure be able to get anything back here. So yes, we'll just lock it. As long as those two stay the closest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not going to happen. What do you mean? Those two aren't going to stay the closest. That's locked down. Yeah. How can you get closer? Bring this one up. Give it a try. Okay. So, what do you got? One way over there. Alright, we'll just lock all these down then. That's the end of the patrol phase. <laughs> Patrol phase complete. I have a, a jump off point here. I have another one up here within four inches of the edge of that jungle. And I have one over here on the edge. And then my bunker has deployed right there. 
Meanwhile, Andre has one in the building here. He's got one in the intact cane field. He's got one behind this hut. Now we're going to do plans. Okay, Japanese plan. So I have eight points. First thing I'm going to do is spend four on the AT gun. 47 millimeter, I believe it is, for the bunker. And the rest I'm going to spend on, on uh, wire and mines. So put a minefield here, one here. I actually have one inside the house here. And then the other one here. Not really enough to do as much as I wanted, but I need that 47 mil because I'm a pretty sure we're going to see some armor. And then the rest of the time I'm just going to play defense, kind of react, and target targets, <laughs> target, targets of opportunity. So we'll see what Andre has to say. All right, the Marines. So uh, as you see, uh, Travis has uh, heavily uh, locked down my right side, which, hey, what do you know? That was exactly what I was planning. So I was... Uh, hoping to cut up that right side. I did figure he would bring a minefield and in my list, the original one, I actually had a mine clearing team. But I cut it because I am going to bring the Satan flame tank. Um, it's just uh, too good not to. I can uh, bring it over here and I can take out the bunker. I can uh, bring it up along this line, that first, uh, you know, the edge of the hill, and support uh, whatever uh, unit needs it. Um, so it looks like I can't uh, quite get over as quickly that direction, but if I can take out this jump off point on this side, um, this uh, set of jungle is going to belong to me and I should be able to freely move up into it as my launch point for whatever I'm doing. So it's really going to depend on how can I keep that Satan flame tank um, in uh, you know position um, and whatever anti-tank uh, device uh, Travis has got. It's going to have to be some sort of artillery because I can't drive in close enough so just having a satchel charge isn't going to work for him. I believe, uh, well, I also had um, the red die and I had to have two other support to make the red die work. One was, oh, <laughs> flamethrower teams. So because uh, Travis has the bunker, I've got the engineer flamethrower team for three points and I replaced one of my bars with a flamethrower team in one of my sections. So I've got, uh, I'm coming in with uh, hot and heavy. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try and flame him out. Um, you know, it worked well in real life and uh, Hopefully that'll give me enough uh, support and uh, covering fire to uh, advance up and uh, it's really just the key is going to be um, don't lose the Satan flame tank. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that works out. Um, if I can uh, get up there before he gets a die that'll prevent, well, he could deploy out though. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be tough because he can either deploy a gun out and take a shot or he can ambush. Um, either way he's going to get, uh, he will probably get a shot at me and if he gets lucky that would really hose me up. Anyhow, let's see what happens. Alright, before we begin, there's going to be some modified uh, rules for the hill. So, we actually played this game once and we didn't like the uh, rules for the hill very much. So we changed them. I mean, they're fine play as is, but we were having some issues with it. So <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Steven. We're going to make some changes. Um, so the tank com can uh, come all the way up to here. But once it gets past this first contour, it's going to be a bogging check every time it moves. There's going to be no negative uh, per pip up to here. And the only restriction is you can't use 3D6 to move. And then it's only going to be minus one pip on these top two contours to move. And that will only apply when you're moving uphill. If you're moving laterally, 
or downhill, it won't it will not apply. Also, the Japanese have no movement restrictions at all because they have tunnels and they have uh, routes mapped out between positions so they can go back and forth. And is that it? That uh, pretty well covers it. Um, you oh, oh, soft light cover. cover. Yeah, so it's light cover. Everything past here, all the open is light cover because there's rocks and uh, shrubs and stuff. This part is still open. So really, the uh, the jungle just turned into line of sight blocking, but it uh, opened up a lot more mobility for Travis's deployment. Uh, yeah, definitely. He isn't stuck in that those two hunks of jungle to. That's true. Try yeah. and uh, yeah, so a lot more flexibility there. Yeah, so this will make it a little bit more interesting, I think. I mean, the, the old the old uh, hill rules had us pretty much uh, just staring at each other and shooting and not moving <laughs> anymore. So it became just like World War One at the end, and it's like, uh, we don't want it to end like that. It wasn't a bad game, but... Um, it wasn't the finale we were looking for. No, we wanted a little more... Uh, for example, Andre's flamethrowers just never could get into range. So. But what we're going to do, we're just going to use the same exact everything and we're gonna redo it and Andre's got the first phase. All right, first phase of the game. And... Okay, two ones. That's a little different. Two I didn't three. roll a five uh, for the longest time, but that's a lot I'll of take it. So One. a flame tank came in, as well as a engineer flamethrower team, and then a, a squad, non-flamethrower team squad came in there. So Japanese phase. Okay, two, three, Damn. three, four. <laughs> Well, <laughs> bring everything in. Are, are, are you jumping me or are you going to wait it out? I'll probably wait a little bit. <laughs> in defense. Playing defense by bringing everything in. <laughs> well, there is a time and place for that. Double phase. Oh. Probably better that you didn't. 2-2-4. Two, two, All right, that so uh, Andre brought in Kopke. Uh, he moved the squad up with, with the flamer. flamer. Uh, this squad came in. And then the last squad is in the bottom building here. Bottom of this building. Looking out that direction. Next phase. No double. No double, no double. But yeah, all your one leaders. And a three, and three two for the tank. And a one for the flamethrower. That I don't need. Andre had uh, cocky. Ordered the flamethrower up. He got way up here. Sprinted. So no more sprinting now past this line. So... Uh, he also ordered a squad that was in the cane field to move up. Tank moved up. Padilla came in. And he put everyone on the building on Overwatch. And it is now the Japanese phase. Okay, 3-3-1-1. Three, three, one, one. Not a 5 yet. Still no 5. But they all come at once. Well, you're supposed <laughs> to be building them right now. But uh, I'll let you stick with whatever your strategy is. Okay. I brought in the squad here. And I brought in my 47mm... AT gun and we can see like this white team or whatever team that is there. Red and white. Red and white team. So it's going to be soft cover through the burnt cane. Uh, so the first, the squad is going to fire Dean fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Seven hits, Andre, on the two teams there. Uh... Soft cover. Um, red team. Red team go. Two shock. White team. Two shock. So two shock each, and uh, so he can fire his Overwatch. Twelve shots. A boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not gonna re-roll your ones. I don't know. I started doing that last night. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this one time and one time only. <laughs> Didn't uh, didn't help. Okay. So Still many, six. Still six. So three on the bunker. Three on the guys in the in the jungle there. In the jungle. Well, yeah. Point of shock. The quiet jungle. Point of shock. Point of shock each. Two points of shock. Uh, the AT gun will fire. It's HE three. Two hits. So one on each. Yep. Red. So a dead in the red team, because light cover reduced to zero. Check your leader. Dead red. Damn dead reds. So a dead red guy, and 
Uh, got a one left and I can do nothing with it, so your phase, Andre. Yeah, yeah you finally lost a guy. All right. One, two, three ones, two fours, and a three. Uh -oh. So general advance on the Marine side. Flamethrower moved up, everyone moved up. The only guys that stayed put were the guys in the building there. Japanese phase. Hey, a five. Hey. Ooh, we're tied. <laughs> one, two, four. So Sergeant Koji's come in over here. Took one chalk off the bunker, put it on Overwatch. Put the squad on Overwatch. Also brought another squad in here on Overwatch. Kind of hiding out in the scrub in Rockland on the third tier or second tier. And they went on Overwatch. Back to the Marines. A five. Super five. Hey, number five. And one, three, three, four, four. four. So Kopke is taking the left flank this direction. Uh, Padilla's gone in the building. The tanks moved up. And Padilla has command range to the guys in the building here. Brought those other guys up tactical. Tactical, yes. And yeah. Okay, just the uh, Marine advance. Hey, another five. Uh oh. I got two now. Well, you're just you, you <laughs> caught up to me. Two twos and a four. So Koji has just uh, taken the shock off that one squad over in the jungle. Wasted red die, but uh, two threes and two fours. Classic. Everything. Three three four four. <laughs> These guys are gonna wait. Uh, they're assembling, getting organized. Meanwhile, squad ran out of here. They got a eleven inch. I'm actually move. gonna overwatch these guys. Okay, and then the tank I think moved up this phase to here. Uh, no, the and tank went, went on Overwatch. Oh, this phase. that's right, the tank went on Overwatch. And then these guys now have assumed Overwatch instead of tactical and Japanese phase. Panzai! Double phase. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't do a whole lot for me to get any fives. Three, two, four. So the squad that was out here, they moved over this direction. I brought in the knee mortar squad with the three, put them on Overwatch. And that's it. Next phase. Hey, a couple fives. Yeah. And then I'll just put, uh, I'll have uh, Koji put the squad that moved on Overwatch. So now we got a wall of Overwatch here, as long as the turn doesn't end. <laughs> Works for all three sixes. Two. Got two of them and three fives. <laughs> and a three. Andre has moved up, not tactically. I should mention that because that might be important. But he has got within four, and he's in line of sight of all of my guys. So everything except the uh, AT gun is going to fire his Overwatch because they see some Marines poking around out here in this jungle. So it's we found them. Long range for everyone. Still fives. One, two, three, four, five. Five fives. All right. So we always start with red. Red. Nothing. White. Uh, point of shock. Blue, two points of shock. All right, the next squad is going to be the um, knee mortar squad, so they're just going to shoot their rifles. So no machine gun, so it's just going to be 13 guys with rifles. One, two, three, four. Four hits. Red. Oh, Better come on. dead than red. <laughs> oh my god. White. The knee mortar squad. Oh, check your leader. Didn't take any shock. Not the leader, though. But you did lose one guy out of red and two guys out of white. Right, the next squad firing its overwatch. One, two, three, four, five, six hits this time. Red. <laughs> dead in the shock. Well, getting hammered. Nothing. Uh, point of shock. So, roll for your leader. No, man. Your leaders are invincible. Of course. Well, they took one for the team, I guess. Lost four guys. Oh, end of turn. Just what you wanted. <laughs> and two ones. Oh, man. Those guys went up there and did that for nothing. So Kopke, uh, he made a three and a, a four out of three in the one. Kopke moved this squad into the jungle. Flamethrower team moved up here. 
and he's going to have these guys try and get payback. But first, I'm going to spring my Overwatch for my um, AT gun, since it's going to go away anyway, I might as well shoot it. So I'm going to spring it when those guys moved up, so I'll be shooting at them. In force. One hit. Soft cover, or no, no cover. Reduce uh, cover by one. Okay. Um, Red team, or? Well, they have no, the there, white team. They? White team, right? Uh, point of shock. Okay, and then these guys are going to shoot. So 12 dice from this squad here. Uh, minus one, right? Because you got yep. two shot there. So 11 dice, needing fives. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, three on the bunker. Point of shock. Uh, don't you have three? And three right. on the squad. No, it's just one. Actually, I got three squads here. Yeah, I, can split I was going to say, shouldn't it be uh, two, two, and two? Want me to re roll? Um, okay. You don't have to re roll the bunker because that was a nothing on the bunker, right? right? Two on these guys. No, it was a point of shock. Nothing there, and then okay. these guys over here. Uh, point of shock. So a shock on the bunker. You roll it I'll take on a shot. The, it's fine. I was going to say, if you, if you got a, more than a point of shock, you could ignore it. I was going to say, if you want me to re roll it, I'd be happy to because I ignore a kill. So <laughs> Yeah. Double six. <laughs> so, I'm doing you a favor by taking a shock. How about we put it that way? It's uh, it's understood. It's understood. I was trying to uh, to acknowledge the uh, niceness. There. That's it. So the turn ends, and then Overwatch the goes phase away. yet again. Right, he's going to drop one die. No. <laughs> and that's why. Okay. Because that would have been a, another double phase. So two threes. And you got a chain of command dice. Try to move the tank. See B bogs. No. One of the tracks was slipping a little bit though. It was digging in. It goes up seven. Tank has moved up. And then he had one of the squads in the jungles put down covering fire on the squad in the bunker here. So Japanese phase. Andre does have a chain of command dice suddenly. Which could come in quite handy for you. Especially if you start double phasing me. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> four, four, three. So Koji. Gonna take the shock off he's gonna have them fire but he's gonna interrupt with his tank and fire up here with his flamer here we go flaming big flames flame on fours fours two four five six seven is all all right so i think you want to put how, four on the on the at gun right? totally average you're in the cover no i'm not it ignores cover oh so four on the AT gun, right? Yep. All right, so that's four shock on it and a dead. And then the squad, nothing. <laughs> oh. But four shock on the AT gun. That's uh... uh. No, it ignores the first kill because it's a bunker. So it's just four shock. Just four shock? Just four shock. <laughs> that's a lot. Well, that was one fifth of my fuel I just burned. That's going to make me four more to hit you. Well, yeah, you're going to miss now. Probably. Unless I get a double 12 or double 6. <laughs> <laughs> double 12s? 6 ain't going to do it. Now with not, 4 shock. Not at 4. And another minus 1 because of the covering fire. Okay, now we'll finish. So you're done with your uh, chain of command dice. Yep. So that was 2 of Koji's commands. You got 1 left and I have a 3 left. With his last command. Actually, I probably should take another shock off. <laughs> <laughs> They're at 4. Then I won't get to shoot. I need to shoot. So I'm going to have this squad fire back at that weakened squad on my uh, on the right side of the jungle there. One, two. Two hits. Here we go. Two hits on these guys. Yep. White and blue. Nothing. Uh, point of shot. So I'll have these guys shoot with the three of those guys again. See if I can maybe do something to them this time. One, two, three. That time I got four hits. Four hits, same dudes. Same same guys. Red. Nothing. Whoa. White. White. Point of shock. And blue. Dead. Dead. Dead blue guy. Not the leader. Okay, but I did put a shock and I killed a blue guy. And that's it for me. Here we go. All right, Marine get, phase. It's getting real. Another double oh. phase and another end of turn. Are you kidding me? Flamethrower well, squad moved up. 
with the three, and then with the two, this squad moved through the break in the wire that the Satan flame tank caused. And another for Andre. I'm just gonna drop one. Oh no, that was a preliminary rule. Okay, a five. Ooh, one, three, three. The Kopke, uh, he's in here. He ordered this squad around, so they've, they're they moving up the hill. So with the flamethrower, these guys just went tactical. And then he's going to fire the Satan flame tank again at the bunker. Even fours. Here we go. Ooh, roll all the dice. This. That's a lot of sixes. All right. Three, six, nine. 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 Oh my God. So, okay, so it's going to be, uh, I am. Five on one and four on the other. Uh, it's, or am I hitting all three? I don't think you can see those guys there. Oh, probably not. Yeah. So it's a, ignore that one. One dead, two dead, and four shock. Wow. Oh man. Check the leader. No. Okay, then it was four on the uh, squad. Uh, four shock, because it ignores cover. <laughs> Alright, so it's four shock here. They're pinned. The gun is now pinned. It's pretty much out of the game now. And that's two shots. Huh? Two shots on the... Uh... Oh yeah, two shots for the gun. Alright, so it is now the uh, turn of the Japanese. Whew, I thought I saw a double phase there for a second. Oh, two fives. I didn't need two fives. I just needed one. <laughs> two and a four. Sergeant Koji ordered the Nemoor squad back. They made it back. They took a shock. No movement restriction for the Japanese. They have this place mapped out. So they moved 3D6. Uh, so they're out of line of sight now in the jungle. He also had this squad move at the double. They're up to five shock. A couple of them are in line of sight still, but uh, it is what it is. And then Koji's going to use his last command to have this squad fire at them. And with the two, this squad's going to come in out of line of sight behind in this jungle and fire at them. Let's start off with this squad here. Uh, the machine gun and one rifle were within close range. Uh, what is that? Seven shots. Yeah, so they set these here. Shooting fours with these. So that's four. The rest are needing fives. Four, five, six, seven hits, soft cover. He's in soft cover because this is all covered with rocks and scrub and... Okay, so there's one on each. Terrain. And then we'll... Flame. One thing, flamethrower for team two on everybody else. Okay, so go ahead. So start with red. Red team. Nothing. They don't care. White. Point of shock. Blue. Nothing. Machine. And Flamer. Nothing. nothing. Wow. So that was just point of shock on wow. white. So you got lucky on that. Those rocks and stuff did well. This time though, I got, I'm all within 18 with that squad. So we're going to need in fours here. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven this time. Let's see if we can do any better this time. Same thing. Reds. Nothing. <laughs> Whites. Nothing. <laughs> blues. A dead. Dead. Okay. And a point a of shock. shock so a dead blue. Up. Man, still two full salvos. And it didn't do what? One shock and one dead? Or two shock? One, one shock on blue. Well, no, because I put one shock with the first salvo. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, one, well, two, two. That's not a great roll. These guys are going to start coming out of the flank attack with Padilla. Meanwhile, these guys just went tactical. Tried to move, but they only got an inch. He thought about trying to move up a D6. Of course, he would have got a 1 and not made it anyway, so better off going tactical. Way better. I, on a 5 or a 6, I could have actually got the flamer in distance. Two more 5s. Ooh, look at you go. So I'm up to 3. 2, 2, 4. Sergeant Kochi uh, is going to take off 2 shock. And then he's going to have them fire. Another two, I'm going to have them fire. And then with the other two, I'm going to have the knee mortars fire. So everything's going on to those guys right there. And both of these squads are still full, or uh, both of these are still full strength. 
I really have only lost two guys out of the gun and eight pins <laughs> or eight shocks. So here we go. Uh, needing fives. Now, actually, we'll do the fours first. So these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. Ten hits. Uh, We've got four teams in here. Two. So. So so red, I guess. Oh, white. Two more. And hard cover though, because he's tactical on the uh, white soft and cover blue. There. Okay, red. Point of shock. White. Point of shock. Blue. A dead. Flamer team. Nothing. So it was red. Oh, it's the leader. Is there a leader? Uh, uh, Cocky's way, way back, back there. Okay, so just see what, what happens to him. Takes a wound. Thing. Fives are always one. good. Junior leader wounded is a minus one on a five, I'm pretty sure. I think it's only a minus two on a six. All right, wounded leader there. A couple shots handed out. Now I'm going to need, oh, the machine gun. And was it? One rifle was in range. So one, two, th three. Remember that number? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hits. Two, 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 one. Or two, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, point of shock on red team. Okay. White, nothing. Uh, point of shock on blue team. And the uh, flamer, nothing. Now the knee mortars are going to start shooting. So I'm needing fives. Nope, that's one. Got one hit. One hit. So put it on uh, whatever. Um, whatever you want, I don't care. I never designated looks like that target. White. Uh, point of shock. Because you're soft cover. Soft cover. Because, uh, yeah, reduced by one. And that's all my shooting. So it's your phase. So just put a bunch of shock out pretty much. Did I even kill anybody? Uh, Another hit, double phase. You hit my leader. And that double. That's like the fifth double phase you've gotten. And look at that uh, joyous. Four and a one. I mean, I could have put this game away <laughs> if these double phases hadn't had all the fives. Yeah, to the go double with phases them. seem to come with a lot of fives. So these guys just moved up. Wait a minute. How are you doing that with the uh, four? The freaking leader's way back there. Kopke's not even with them. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you seem to have left Kopke. Why would he do that? I don't know. Well, Kopke's decided to get into the fight here. Where is he? He's over there somewhere. He's moved up himself only three inches, but he did get within nine of the squad. So they removed one less shock and moved one less inch than they thought. Okay. Uh, one, one, two, four. All right, so he's moved up. He's going to try to flame, but I'm going to interrupt. And I'm going to do a bonsai charge. Bonsai! No restrictions on the Japanese. I'm moving downhill. I need a 10. We can do this. No. Ooh. So it never No, happened. only four inches. I only got to get within four inches of you. This is chain of command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made it. Right, so here we go. So, <laughs> epic bonsai charge. Andre's got 22 dice. I have 19. Go ahead, Andre. What? It's not simultaneous? Not enough room on the table. <laughs> uh, what do we need? Fives? Fives and sixes. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know if that's... I think that's probably fairly average. Probably average. Probably better than what I'm going to get. Yeah. Bonsai! One, two... Three, four, four five. five. What'd you get? Six. So you actually won by one. Okay, so let's figure this out. So definitely the leader's hit. Mine's automatically hit. You got six. So I'll just roll and see what happens to him. He's wounded. So bad thing. Uh, it's minus two. Wounded junior leader on a minus two. Wait, I wasn't at three, was I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you roll for see if it's your leader. Okay, so no, not the leader, just just barely. Okay, so I rolled five, you rolled six. 
Being two guys out and still. All right, so I fell back an inch, took two shock, lost five dudes, took a wounded leader, and dropped two on my force morale. But it's better than sitting here and getting my ass roasted on the flamer for nothing. But he still gets to shoot the flamer because so I, I moved in, lost, fell back six inches. So I got ten I shots five. with my rifles. What? And, or the bars and guns, right? Yeah. And then how many sh dice on a... 12. 12. Right, so go ahead. What are you going to do first? Um, so these are the rifles. Okay. 84s. 1, 2, 3, and 4 re-rolls. Okay. Uh, 3 more, so 6. Okay, 6. Soft cover. Oh, man. Oh. Holy crap. Three more dead. And a... Jesus. It's not the leader, though. Okay. <laughs> and the flamer. And then I took another shot. Okay, go ahead and eat in fours. Oh, wow. Two. Two hits with the flamer. In the open. I guess he's a little uh, rattled by that bonsai charge. A little. Another dead. Check the leader. No. Wow, so we're still here with three shock. Wow. Unbelievable. Good job, dudes. Huh. Man, that was wild. Okay, so you're still okay. going here. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was all an interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> that was all Andre's going to do. So they moved up tactically, and here we stand. I mean, I got a three shock, four man squad left, and he's pretty beat up himself. Japanese phase. Now is a good time for a double phase. <laughs> now could be very this would important. be well timed. No double phase, but not a bad roll. Two, two, three, four is pretty decent. That all do whatever you got. Lieutenant Takuru has finally come in in the jungle. There took two shock off of these guys, and he had them pull back. So they're in the jungle now, out of line of sight. And with the rest of the stuff, um, I'm going to fire all my squads. I got enough to fire everything. So we'll start with these guys here. They're going to do a full barrage on them. Why am I so, zoom, so zoomed in here? <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five. Man, only five hits. Not very good shooting, boys. All right, that was on. Uh, yeah, this one here. Okay, so what do I got? I got two blues, three reds, and a white. Okay. Red. Nothing. White. Point of shock. Blue. Dead in a shock. Okay. So check your leader. No. Go on. Knee mortar squad's gonna. Place. You know, I better check because we might be possibly too close to you. 12 inch minimum, I am further than 12. So three knee mortars, needing fives. There's one, two, two hits. Okay. Red. Nothing. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> White. Nothing. Wow. Okay. Um, then the last thing I have is these guys. Can they see them? Last squad. So only the machine gun and a few other guys can see, but I'm going to target this guy here. Over 18. Need pops. One, two, three hits. But I think you can split into those guys at least. Okay, um, so one on them. Nothing. And two on the other boys. Point of shock. So point of shock on the flamer, and that's it. Japanese. Point of, are, uh, actually, point of shock on the uh, flamethrower. Other team. It's really brutal. Oh, triple ones! Triple oh. fours! All your senior leaders. Ones and fours! <laughs> but he and Kopke, you better get their shit together and get going here. Kopke moved up. He got within four. He took some shock off. Need him tactical. Or he took one shock off and then put him the squad tactical. And the Satan flame tank is advanced up about as, that's as far as he can go. But he does have a better line of sight from there. And these guys moved up. Padilla and that squad moved up. Japanese phase. Man, not done the double phase again. Andre's dominating the double phases in this I, game. I already used them all up, Travis. Apparently. So two threes, a one, and a two. So an epic move, uh, epic series of moving <laughs> here. This squad here, 
So they have their trenches, their communication trenches, their tunnels. 3D6, unlimited. Three, three sixes. I, I just wanted to get behind here to get out of tank range. I figured I ran all the way over here. And I'm like, I ran right into tank. <laughs> then I forgot there's a little patch of... They perfectly landed behind this patch of uh, jungle here. Uh, meanwhile, Takuru took the last shock off of what's left of this squad. They pulled back at a great move, even with the negative for moving up the hill. They got up onto the top level. He's in range of them. He's going to have them fire back at those guys. So needing fives. And that leaves him with the three left to fire the knee mortars again. One, two, three, four hits on these guys here. Okay. So the flamer. Okay. Uh, nothing, because you're tactical. And the other boy. Uh, so what do we got? Red, white. Uh, white, blue, nothing, nothing at all. All right, the knee mortars now are going to fire it back at this squad. Rolling all ones. Two misses. Two misses. That's okay. One hit. Okay. Give me a shot. Give me a shot. Uh, or kill cocky. Let's take it on red. <laughs> oh, Ooh. it's a dead. Check and see who it is. <laughs> oh, it's not the leader. It's there yeah, was a not. one. There was a one spinning there for me. Okay. Another dead red team. Oh, man, so you're getting close to being pinned here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, four. Six, and you're at uh okay, only four. Only four. And that's it for me. We'll two space. fours and four threes. And two six. <laughs> Another two sixes. Okay. Seriously? Yeah, but look at this. Come on, I don't want to hear any complaints about what you roll after the fifth double phase. <laughs> Padilla moved these guys up. Two know. inches. Yep, and then uh, over here, Kopke took off three shock off this front squad. And with the two, this squad moved tactically, tactically this direction. So just some re uh, reorganization over there. We're trying, we're trying. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, so these guys pulled two shock over here with the three. I guess. And then, uh, yeah, well, so a three and a four. Kopke and the leader. So he's been, these guys are going to move up and shoot at these guys. Eden fives. Three hits. Soft cover. Point of shot. Nothing doing. Okay. We're trying to get into bonsai range because we will come back. We got the guy with the sword now. <laughs> no doubt. Okay, so those guys 2d6 and up. Uh, right, these guys moved up. You saw that. Uh, they Just moved up. Everyone kind of moved up. They moved up, captured the jump off point. With okay, Padilla. now all we have to do is get a... So do I drop a die on this one? Yeah, why not? Okay. I think this is only the second in a row, right? <laughs> I don't remember. But I got a lot of fours. They can do all your senior leaders. <laughs> How many shots, shots. I got there? They moved up um, and copped you with them. You got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve shots up here from there. Needing fives. One, two, three. Soft cover. Point of shock. Uh, mm. Four shock. That's quite a bit, actually. It, uh, it's getting there. That. So, are you done? I, uh... <laughs> Can I make a phase now? I've been standing here for like 45 all right, minutes. All right, all right. Thank you. Fine. Double phase and three fives. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Whatever. I got a chain of command dice now. Okay, that was, uh, crappy. I mean, good, but crappy. Another five. Two fours, a three, and a one. Yeah. Knee mortar squad on a three. Uh, pulled the shock off. Moved out. And over here, uh, Lieutenant Takuru pulled the shock off here. He's within nine of these guys. He's going to have them fire. The other four, uh, Platoon Sergeant Koji pulled three shocks. They're down to one. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, do I have any way to activate them? I don't think I do, do I? Let me rethink this here. Change of plans. Actually, I had the Lieutenant move over with one. He pulled the, no, he did not pull a shock. He moved to get within range of them. They're going to fire here. He's going to have them fire with his last command. Over here, the platoon sergeant pulled off two shock. They're going to fire. And with the three, those guys still moved out. So first, it's the ten shots here. 
Uh, I guess all we can see is those guys there. So three hits. Soft cover because of the scrub. Okay, and it's a red, white, blue thing. Red. Point of shock. White. Nothing. Blue. Point of shock. So two points of shock, which is pretty good. Um, okay, over here uh, we had six, seven, eight, nine shots. What do we want to shoot it? We're actually going to fire at those guys there instead of the full squad in the uh, jungle because these guys are pretty beat up. Maybe if I get lucky. Uh, one. Two whole hits. Okay. <laughs> Good job, boys. Lame. <laughs> Red and white. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Man. All right, this squad's going to shoot at those guys then. Full bore. Full squad on full squad. Full squad on full squad. We only 13 to do the way they're arranged at them, leaving fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Soft cover. Red. Yeah, point of shock. White. Point of shock. Blue. Point of shock. Well, That's easy to keep makes track Makes it easy of. to remember. <laughs> Bookkeeping just got simplified. Yep. <laughs> and that's it for me. So your turn, Andre. What do you think, huh? I think. I saw a six. Not a double face. Thank God. But you still got a shitload of other stuff. Well, it's actually one, 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 two, oh, two. Oops. So Andre was about to fire his tank to finish off the uh, bunker, but I'm going to use my interrupt and I'm going to bonsai. So we're definitely going to make it. So this squad is going to interrupt and see if we can do something to these guys. The Neem Water Squad has charged that guy, uh, that squad. Andre is going to get 13, I'm going to get 19. So you want me to roll first this time, Andre? Yeah, I got it. Okay, go ahead. Here's what you got to deal with. One. That's two. Two. <laughs> that's what you got to deal okay, with. Okay, I think I can deal with that. Uh, I told you I was going to lose this one horribly. <laughs> well, I haven't rolled yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So the leader's hit. Let's see uh, what happens to him. Or is he, or we're just gonna say he's dead. You lost by like 12. <laughs> <laughs> so they're dead. Let me check my leader. No, so could you take two guys out of my knee motor squad? And Andre's just obliterated in the bonsai charge. I'm gonna move up and occupy where he was. And I'm gonna face this way, obviously. And then, uh, We'll roll some bad things. Andre, so bad thing, uh, what do you have here? Section wiped out. Yay. Uh, two. Um, minus one. So you're down to nine. And, and a five on my junior leader. Minus two. So you dropped three right there. And that brings me to seven. So we're tied. It's a tie game. It's not looking good suddenly for the Marines. Although you do still have a full squad here and a tank, but the tank can't go any further than this. Bottom of the eighth. Oh, but... But you still got some shooting to do here, so... I can move the tank up and fire, right? So you're going to turn around and flame those guys. Twelve shots. Needing fours. Three, four hits. Four hits. I'm struggling. Uh, that's four shock. That's not anywhere near good enough. They just took four shock. They're obviously unfazed by a flamethrower. So that was a one. I wonder got... if I rolled any sixes when you came in. Good. We're so going to say it can fire at full effect. You sure? I guess. We haven't really thought about it, but now that I think about it, why would it not be affected? But go ahead, just roll the whole thing. Okay. So 12 shots with the flamer. Probably actually got a rule you can't even move and shoot it at all, probably. Should be more realistic <laughs> if you want to. Because <laughs> yeah. moving and shooting at full effect is obviously going to be a little overpowered, I think. It's, uh, well, it's I'm a not saying it's not overpowered, but uh, it's six hits. completely wrong, too. All right, six hits for the flamer. There's nothing that says you can't move and fire it. 
All right, so that's going to be uh, three dead and four more shocks. So let's check the leader here. Not the leader. Three dead and four shock. So I'm up to what, eight shock? So three dead. Definitely going to be pin now, right? I think. Uh, no, I do. So we've got a BAR, two BARs, and a rifle. Seven shots. Half of that. Three, three shots. shots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three hits. I'll take it. Another dead and a shock. Not the leader. So now I'm going to definitely be pinned. pinned. Okay. Now I'm pinned. All okay. right. You found some hard cover finally. Okay. I've wiped out one squad of Marines and the other one's getting whittled down. So our, you're still going. Same thing over here. Yep. So Padilla put these guys tactical. So does he have to tell each team to go tactical or can he tell everyone? He can just tell the whole squad just to go tactical. Then he's also going to pull two shock. Okay, Padilla pull two shock. And then they, of course, put a hammering on uh, those guys with the flames. Now it's time for the Japanese Coming back. to rise up. A couple more fives. All right. One, two, four. <laughs> the platoon sergeant. Took a shock off. These guys used their tunnels, moved all the way over here, staying on the top of this little cliff. Meanwhile, the other senior leader pulled the shock. They're going to shoot over there, and then he's going to have these guys shoot at those guys, but they're in hard cover, but whatever. Oh, that's right. It was only 13 shots for those guys, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five hits. Hard cover. Yeah, Padilla's boys. All right. Red. I did. White. Nothing. Blue. Nothing. So a dead and red team? Or dead red. Dead red. All right, next was going to be 10 shots um, at these guys. So doubling shock, right? Because you get hit from behind. Sweet. <laughs> Where's that sharp practice? <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet, though. One, two, three, four, five hits. Okay, so he's still got like four teams. How many teams have they got? There? <laughs> four teams with like five guys. Well, four teams. Team. One guy in each, but still four teams. <laughs> <laughs> so how many? Five? Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we'll double it up on, uh, I guess, uh, these guys down here. Flamer? Okay. Flamer. Uh, one down. We'll check okay. the leader there in a minute. And then Red, we white, got blue. the other three teams. Red, nothing. White, shock. So blue, shock nothing. So check your leader for the flamer. Nope. Man, I'm not having any luck with the leader. So you lose a guy in the flamethrower team and you take a shock. Well, that's it. We'll see if Andre. I don't want a double phase. I just want to be able to do everything. Okay, he didn't I get can a do phase. everything. He's going to pull a shock and he's going to have the squad fire. So. Go for it, man. 12. This is his last shot, too, by the way. Okay. So here we go. Needing fours. This should do it for that squad. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. Ignoring cover and all that. Six shots in the open. So three, four dead and two shock. It is the leader, somehow. He's dead. It's a bad thing. Uh. He just loses a command. No, I'm sorry. He's probably minus two. That was a bad thing. Well, squad breaks. Uh, three section breaks minus one. Oh no. Uh, minus two. Uh -oh. oh man, I'm down to three all of a sudden. Wow. So, okay. All right. And uh, he's going to order the flamer team to. Uh, Light these guys up. Okay. So 12 shots. Needing fours. Yep. Two, four, five. Five. So three dead. Which means uh, two dead. So it's not the leader, but they are going to break. Uh, so actually, they're just down to the leader. So there's just a junior leader in there by himself. Uh, you ignored Team. one of the kills, the first kill. Okay, so two guys left. Two guys. 
And then they and break. how many shots did they? Or? So they're gonna break then. Okay. Damn. So that ignoring that kill cost me the game. With two guys, they break. With just the junior leader, all the shots. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. My, I'm down to. I'm down to one. I. Actually, the bunker rules cost me. Yep. If I could have ignored the, if I would have taken the first two, because I had four, I lost three. Yeah, that left me with one guy, the leader, because he didn't die. He's impervious to... I'm down to one. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're dead, so that whole side of the board's wiped out. And that was my first four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So actually, the game is over right now. Because of the stupid-ass bunker. So actually, I rolled a six on the team breaks, which is a minus two. And I rolled a just now to see how far they broke through this door. And they made it off, which means the junior leader routes, which is like an automatic minus one. So I'm down at zero. So Andre has uh, somehow pulled it oh. off. So we're back to wrap it up. So, it, well, I hate to say it. It's not, I mean, it's a good game, but a complete fluke technicality uh, in the rules basically cost me the game. Ignoring the first kill actually left me with too many guys. Suddenly I had eight shock on one dude instead of no shock on a leader and, and, and they all broke. And I thought I was being a total sportsman saying, oh no, wait, Travis, you got two guys in there. Remember, you ignored the uh, first kill. Yeah, I totally no. thought I was doing you this huge favor. And suddenly that left me with one guy. And that one guy suddenly had eight shock. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, I don't know. There's got to be a tweak where that could never be a bad thing to be in a bunker. But I guess we're getting hit with a flamer, whatever. Well, but I, I could regardless. see where uh, getting flamed for the fourth time in a bunker uh, might... But well, what if it wasn't a flamethrower? I mean, that could still happen. Yeah. Of course, it wouldn't have been because of the rule or... Well, it doesn't matter. The campaign's over. It was a hell of a game. The flamethrowers did all the work. He brought yeah. three different flame weapons, but that's what you need. There's no way to get the Japanese out of here without oh, God. tons of flamethrowers. Well, and as Travis was saying to me off camera, if it hadn't uh, been for that, um, I'd have had a problem here. He could, he would, he didn't have enough left. I had like two full and then a partial squad, and the he only, had a squad. The only thing I could have done was get your jump off points and end the turn. Yeah, he actually did. He was on this one. So if the turn ended, I still would have... Uh, yeah. Well, I actually had I to remove you... one because I dropped. So low. But yeah. I didn't remove that one. I actually was thinking about it, but I thought, well... well it's I could have gotten so. over and gotten this one, but... Maybe. <laughs> well, how are you going to stop me? Um, Shoot at you. <laughs> remember, I can move around at will, man, back here. I yeah. could have just ran back over here and... That's true. Yeah. Um, with the communication well, trenches, okay. I could move all over the place. Reorient the flame tank, go on overwatch. <laughs> okay, so by midnight, we might have had it. <laughs> yeah, it was going to bog down big time because he's just, he's got too many dudes back here, too much firepower, too much maneuverability, and uh, yeah. um, I just, well, look what's left of my main attack force. Yep. I mean, oh, yeah, my whole left flank is down to, what, eight guys? Yeah, you lost... A full squad plus most of another. You had uh, one, one full squad in here. I lost 15 guys. Well, plus the all the guys in the bunker. So 20. 20 dudes I lost. I've got 8 left out of the 30 that came up my left flank. <laughs> so it was a bloody... I still got a lot of guys left, man. Look at yeah. them all. I mean, I had plenty of guys, but yeah, that cost me. That rule, or that bunker getting flamed out. Well, I met. I was. I'm. Well, I almost stood up to a, two kamikaze charges. Yeah, I got one, and I was happy with the actual results of that. Even though I lost the first one, I was very pleased with the, how close I came. Well, being down dice. It, it wasn't going to be that much different uh, if you just let me, you know, roast you out there. It would have been a lot different because you wouldn't have lost anyone, and yeah. I would have lost everyone. <laughs> so, at least going in, at least made it. You lose guys too. Yeah, and then you totally took out the. Took out that you just last obliterated squad. the squad over here. Yeah, but I should have. I should have actually charged these guys, but they were closer, and I didn't know how how far I was going to get. Charging these guys would have been even better, but then you could have just flamed them. Yeah, uh, they would have been out in the open. 
doesn't matter but it was crazy uh two bonsai charges a lot of fire flying all over the board and a lot uh, of flames a lot of dead dudes taking hill 790 but they did it the marines have uh taken the 01 line so good job on andre just give a knuckle bump uh, quarantine uh, handshake for a good campaign and steven thank you for writing this uh, it was a lot of fun uh the, andre actually won every single map on the first try except for the radio station <laughs> radio station kicked my butt the radio station he was held up for three turns i we i think we were both thinking i was gonna just lose it there yeah but that flame tank came in that's what got me out of the radio station well and it's what uh won this what's what wins every game it comes in almost pretty much um this is actually the first time I've had uh, flamethrower teams and been real successful with them. Usually they get targeted early on and it's hard <laughs> to protect them. Well, yeah, but usually you don't have eight other teams kind of hanging around. I mean, you got two, three team sections. Yeah. Right? That's six plus itself. And junior leaders with an extra command to pull shock and... Yeah, it's damn hard to, I mean... If you it's can get not through like, all the sharing of hits, then maybe if you get lucky, you can kill a guy every now and then. But. Yeah, and especially once, as I was uh, first making the push, you were putting a ton of shock on me, but I was getting those rolls with threes and fours. Oh. Well, and all the okay, that's seven, or six commands right there. Yeah. Um, so you can pull shock. You almost, can remove all the shock and still activate. You can get a double phase every uh, other turn. Well, so I think yeah. you had about what seven double phases, probably. Um, had, that's about what I had scheduled. I had two, and one of them was two sixes and three fives. <laughs> if that one would have actually been two sixes and a couple fours, I, I might have been able to get. I mean, that might have tipped it my way too. It it would have been well, it would have been huge because I you remember me whining about my first couple double phases. It's like I'm ready to attack, but I can't move anything. I got a double phase. Yeah, but you were still able to pull shock and move stuff. Well, I wasn't real shocked yet, but... So yeah, that double phase, I mean, it did give me the command dice, which allowed me, I think, to do the bonsai charge. So that was nice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the uh, chain of command dice. But yeah, the bonsai charges, so... I like the, I like the rule of no movement down the hill, because that yeah. allows the bonsai charges to come in. Yeah. Before, it's like, okay, I can't even go downhill at minus... <laughs> well, it's an automatic minus four, plus whatever shock I have, there's no way. But this time, it was like... Yeah. Okay, it, we're uh, coming down, and then we came down. Yeah, it was and, fun. And those charges are harsh in this game, because when you're attacking, if you've got uh, a, a better, you know, more numbers, which the Japanese tend to, especially when, you know, I'm getting whittled down, it's yeah. just real hard to deal with. I think it's actually, if I have like four times more dice than you, you automatically win, but that wasn't the case. Even, even with that small squad you had, you still had like 13 dice. Yeah. I was getting a decent number of dice back, but... But uh, no dice for the machine guns, because it says light machine gun or heavy machine gun. DARs are not machine guns, so they just don't get any extra dice in defense on the assault. Yeah, and I'm assuming I don't get to re-roll my ones on the assaults, or at least no. I wasn't. And you did remember a few times to roll ones tonight. Yeah, I don't know. I honestly not sure times how many least. times I forgot. Oh, but... a lot. More than you remembered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you did re-roll a couple times. That's all we can ask for. Hey, it's a progress. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it was a fun campaign, and Stephen did a great job of uh, uh, writing it, and he's done really good on the Abbeville one as well. He's working on another one right now, um, super top secret one, uh, but uh, that should be a lot of fun. And yeah, so thanks again, Stephen, and uh, you guys check out his stuff. The link for this is going to be uh, in the description, and. Uh, if you want to incorporate the rules for the hill that we did this time, you can do that. I don't know if Stephen's going to actually officially change uh, to these rules for the hill or not. Uh, if not, then play as written or do whatever the hill you want because uh, it's a creative thing and it's a, anything you want. So whatever works like for you. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, we're going to wrap it up now. So thanks again, Stephen, and thanks for everyone who's watched this, all the patrons. Check out our Patreon page. Uh, if you're into Chain of Command, we're doing Comp Group on Luke for the patrons only. We've just done our third game, which was the most craziest game I won't even say, but it was wild. <laughs> it was insane. You've never seen anything like it. 
We'll just say uh, one thing I can't. It was the most. It's probably close as close to a flawless game as you'll ever see. <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah, check that out on Patreon. Check out our Facebook group. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.